Summary of Ceremony by Leslie Marmon Silco. In the first part of the book, T.S. It's T.S. Eneko, the thought woman who is telling the story, is introduced. Stories are the only way to stay healthy, avoid death, and fight evil. The story starts when the sun comes up. A Pueblo man named Teo wakes up in his spare ranch house. He has been thinking about different parts of his life. One memory in particular bothers Teo, when he was in the Philippines during World War II, he couldn't kill a Japanese soldier because he saw his uncle Josiah in the Japanese outfit. In contrast to the wet Philippines, where Teo lives on a ranch in New Mexico, there is a drought. Teo thinks this is because he asked for the rain to stop while he was in the jungle during the war. Teo tells a story about how Corn Woman yelled at her sister Reed Woman, which made Reed Woman so angry that she took away the rain. Teo remembers when he got back from the Veterans Hospital in Los Angeles and felt like a ghost and couldn't eat. Harley, a fellow war veteran and Teo's friend, rides up on a burro and tries to get Teo to go with him to the closest bar, even though Teo doesn't drink. Teo thinks about his cousin Rocky as they ride the burro. Rocky was in the army with Teo, but he died away. When Teo thinks about Rocky, he falls off the donkey and throws up. The story goes back to right after Teo got home from the veterans' hospital. Auntie takes care of Teo instead of sending him back to the veterans' hospital, but Teo knows that Auntie still dislikes him because he has mixed blood. Auntie thinks that a medicine man won't be able to help Teo because he is not a full blood Pueblo. Auntie starts to report that little sister, Teo's mother, is sleeping with white men, but grandmother stops her and calls the medicine man Kush. Kush comes to Teo's sickbed and tells her that the world is fragile. He does this in only the original Laguna language. Teo realizes that he needs to do something to fix the damage that the war has caused. When Kush goes, Teo is finally able to eat. Teo gets better over time and starts to help Robert, Auntie's husband, with field work. To forget about his pain, Teo goes out drinking with some other war veterans one night. Emo, Harley, and Leroy, three other soldiers, talk about the white women they slept with while on leave from the war. Teo gets upset by these stories and starts to rant about how Native Americans are once again losing respect, but the other men just want to talk about their glory days. Teo has a flashback to when Japanese forces took him away. Even though Rocky was already dead, he carried him. However, the Japanese forces made him leave Rocky's body behind and took Teo to a prison camp. The book goes back to Teo's present, where Harley is picking him up from a ditch where he spent the night after drinking too much. Teo sees that the land is dusty because of the drought, and he remembers what Uncle Josiah told him about how droughts happen when people forget they have a responsibility to the country they come from. The book then moves on to a story about a town whose people became so interested in magic that they stopped taking care of their mother corn altar. Because they didn't care about her, the corn mother gets angry and takes all the rain clouds away from the town. Back to Teo and Harley, the two men finally make it to the bar. While Teo drinks a beer, he thinks back to when he and Rocky went deer shooting. Teo showed the deer respect after it died, but Rocky doesn't care about these old traditions. Rocky was the best student and football player at their boarding school in Albuquerque. He thought that to be successful, he had to give up his old ways. Harley jumps into Teo's thoughts and reminds him of the last time they went to a pub and Teo almost killed Emo. Teo can't forget that night. Emo starts ranting about how they should all take white women as payment for everything white people have taken from Native Americans. Then Emo makes fun of Teo because she is half white. Emo pulls out a bag of teeth that he says belonged to Japanese war prisoners. When Teo gets drunk and angry, he breaks a beer bottle on the table and stabs Emo in the gut with it. The story goes back in time to when Teo and Rocky joined the army. Rocky calls Teo his brother for the first time as they sign up together. Auntie made sure that Teo and Rocky were not close friends when they were kids. She kept telling Teo that he can't be part of the family because he has white blood. Teo thinks that Auntie stopped trying to help Teo's mother, little sister, 
because Auntie's Christian values make her stand out from the local community. In the story about the corn woman, Hummingbird tells the people about a ceremony that will help them bring back the rain. A fly is made during the ritual. This fly goes to the fourth world with Hummingbird to talk to the corn mother. Auntie is mad that Teo wants to join the army with Rocky instead of staying to help Josiah take care of the ranch. Josiah just bought some new cattle. They are a special type of mixed breed that he says can survive a drought. Josiah goes to Cubero to see Night Swan, a Mexican dancer who helped him buy the cows. Josiah fell in love with Night Swan and went to see her often before his time with the cattle took over. Auntie thinks that Josiah sleeping with a Mexican is going to cause a drought. Still believing the old stories, Teo tries to bring rain back by doing all the old practices. The next day, storm clouds gather, so Josiah sends Teo to Night Swan to tell her that he won't be able to visit because of the rain. Night Swan welcomes Teo in, sleeps with him, and tells him that she has been watching him because of his green eyes. In Corn Woman's story, Corn Mother tells Hummingbird and Fly to get Old Buzzard to clean up the town so that she can send rain again. Buzzard tells Fly and Hummingbird to go get him some tobacco as a gift. Teo thinks back to when he went to gallop with Robert. Under the bridges there, poor people of all different races live. Teo and his mother lived under a bridge for the first four years of his life. He watched the other lost children and avoided his mother when she brought men back to their hut. Rocky and Teo threw coins off a bridge in Gallop when they joined the army. Rocky wanted to get back home safely, but Teo didn't wish for anything. Teo finally hopes for a safe return while standing on the bridge with Robert after the war. Grandmother and auntie sent Teo to a medicine man in Gallup named Betany because they saw that Kuush's practices had only helped him a little. Betany lives in a hogan near the city's poorest area. Like Teo, she has green eyes. Betany tells Teo that he won't get better until he does what he can to help heal the world. She tells him about a new event that will help fix the wrongs that white people do to the land. Betany tells a story about a boy who lived with bears and had to be carefully brought back to his life with people. Betany guides Teo through a ceremony that will bring him back to life. This ceremony uses Mexican and white power as well as native practices. In the story Corn Mother, Fly and Hummingbird ask Corn Mother where they can find tobacco. Caterpillar is where she sends them. Betany sends Teo on a trip to find his uncle's cattle and end the drought in Teo's present. Teo walks away, but Harley and Leroy see him right away and pick him up. They all go to a pub with a Native American woman called Helen Jean. Helen Jean chooses some Mexican guys over the Native American men. When Harley starts a fight, he, Leroy, and Teo are kicked out of the bar. Teo leaves Harley and Leroy behind to ride on horseback and continue Betany's quest. While Teo is looking for the cattle, he meets a woman who asks him to stay at her house for the night. In the story Corn Mother, the worm gives tobacco to the hummingbird and the fly. That night, Teo sleeps with the woman, and in his dream, he sees his uncle's cattle. The next morning, Teo follows a barbed wire fence until he sees his uncle's cows in the distance. He then cuts a hole in the fence to let the cows through. He stops for the night and sees a mountain lion pass by. He then puts yellow pollen in the mountain lion's tracks. The next morning, Teo starts off at a fast gallop, but some white guys catch up to him. Teo falls off of his horse and hits his head. The men hold him at gunpoint until they see prints of a mountain lion, which causes them to forget about Teo and go after the mountain lion to get its fur. Teo falls asleep. It is snowing when he wakes up again. Someone is singing a traditional hunting song from Laguna, and Teo knows it is a hunter. The hunter takes Teo back to his house, which is also the home of the woman he slept with earlier. She is her brother's sister and the woman is near the house with Uncle Josiah's cattle. In the spring, Robert and Teo go to the woman's house to get the cattle. During the spring, Teo works on his uncle's ranch taking care of the cows. He notices how much better and calmer he feels when he does this. 
The woman comes back to see Teo one day and tells him her name is TSA. TSA asks Teo to get her a certain plant if she can't do it herself. In the autumn of that year, TSA has to leave, and Teo comes back to town to finish the healing process he started with the other veterans. Harley and Leroy pick him up again when they see him on the road. They have been drinking a lot and are trying to get Teo to do the same. Teo passes out in the truck, and when he wakes up, Harley is no longer there. Teo gets a screwdriver and walks in the same direction as Harley and Leroy. Teo goes into an old uranium mine and thinks about the atomic bomb, which destroyed so much. While he is in the mine, he sees Emo and some other soldiers drag Harley in and start to torture him for letting Teo get away from the truck. Emo's bad behavior makes Teo sick, and he wants to kill Emo with the screwdriver. But Teo is able to control the witchcraft's effect on him and decide not to bring more bad things into the world. Teo leaves the mine and gets the last plant for TSA. He then starts walking back to his aunt's house. The Corn Mother story ends when Hummingbird and Fly give Old Buzzard tobacco to clean up the town. The storm clouds come back, and Corn Mother tells everyone to stop getting sidetracked by magic. Teo tells Kuush and the other men his whole story, and Kuush says that TSA is the reed woman who will bring the rain back. Harley and Leroy's bodies are found, and Emo runs away to California later. At the end of this story, Grandmother thinks that she has heard it before, but under a different name. The book ends with the sun coming up. About the author. Leslie Marmon Silko is often called the first Native American woman to write a book that was published in the U.S. She comes from the Laguna, the Mexican, and the Anglo-American cultures. In her work, she often looks at the intersections and tensions in her past. Silko grew up on the Laguna Pueblo Reservation in New Mexico. He then went to the University of New Mexico. She thought about becoming a lawyer and went to law school for a short time but she soon dropped out to become a writer. She got a lot of attention for her first short story, The Man Who Sent Rain Clouds, and then went on to write more stories, songs, and a book called Ceremony in 1977. Silko won the MacArthur Fellowship in 1981 and the Native Writers Circle of America's Lifetime Achievement Award in 1994. Silko is now known as one of the most important live Native American writers because she has won many awards for her novels, short stories, and poetry. She lives in Tucson, Arizona, at the moment. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.